There was no, no evidence being presented of any strength. Evidence can be hearsay evidence. It's still evidence, but it's still hearsay. But strong judicial quality evidence, anything that would say to me, you have a doubt, deny your oath. I will not do that. And on more than on more than one occasion throughout all this, that has been brought up, and it is a tenet of my faith that the Constitution is divinely inspired of my most basic foundational beliefs. And so for me to do that because somebody just asked me to is foreign to my very being. I, I, I will not do it. To be clear, did you hear the White House Counsel's Office say that um, this plan to have alternate electors meet and cast votes for Donald Trump in states that he had lost was not legally sound? Yes, sir. And who was present for that meeting that you remember? Mr. It was in our office. It was Mr. Meadows, Mr. Giuliani, and a few of Mr. Giuliani's associates. We're just, you know, kind of, kind of useful idiots or rubes at that point. You know, a strong part of me really feels that it's just kind of as the road continued and as that was failure, failure, failure. That 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 got formulated as what do we have on the table? Um, let's just do it. Secretary Raffensperger, did Joe Biden win the 2020 presidential election in Georgia, and by what margin? Uh, President Biden carried the state of Georgia by approximately 12,000 votes. What was it like to compete with a president who had the biggest bully pulpit in the world to push out these false claims? For lack of a better word, it was frustrating. But oftentimes, I felt our information was getting out, but that there was a reticence of people who needed to believe it, to believe it because the President of the United States, who many looked up to and respected, was telling them it wasn't true. Why didn't you just quit and walk away? Because I knew that we had followed the law and we had followed the Constitution. And I think sometimes moments require you to stand up and, and just take the shots when you're doing your job. And that's all we did. Can you describe uh, what you experienced listening to former President Trump attack you and your mother in a call with the Georgia Secretary of State? I felt horrible. I felt like it was all my fault. Like, if I would have never decided to be an elections worker, like, I could have done anything else. But that's what I decided to do, and now, People are lying and spreading rumors and lies and attacking my mom. I'm her only child. Going to my grandmother's house. I'm her only grandchild. And, and my kid. It's just, um, I felt so bad. I, I just felt bad for my mom and I felt horrible for picking this job and being the one that always wants to help and always there. And, never missing not one election. I just felt like it was, it was my fault for putting my family in this situation. Tell us, if you would, of the other election workers shown in that State Farm Arena video and their supervisors, how many are still election workers in Fulton County? Um, there is no permanent election worker or supervisor in that video that's still there. And did you end up leaving your, leaving your position as well? Yes, I, I left. 